right. So let's get on on the floor where we need to. I need you guys to take a very deep breath and be ready for this as well. So confirm if you guys can see me. If you can see you didn't mind if you can see you today. Correct, everyone. Correct, sir. Okay then. Are you guys ready? Do you have a pen and a paper, Chidin Ma? Okay. Yes, I have. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm the only guy in the midst of two ladies, and uh, I wanted to say ladies first, but I definitely need to throw the dice and start with uh, give that uh, privilege to uh, Abimbola if she's ready. And uh, yet today. I'm going to use Yetunde because I share the same name with you, Abimbola. So I'm going to use Yetunde in this purpose so that we don't mix it up as well. Are you ready, Yetunde? Yes, I am, sir. Okay, then. All right. This is for you, Yetunde. The question says, it says, provide a brief overview of your academic and professional background how has your higher national diploma in communication prepared you for challenges in any role in the future? I'll take that again. This is a self-introduction. It says, can you provide a brief overview of your academic and professional background? How has your national, higher national diploma prepared you for challenges in any role? Your time starts now. Okay, um, good afternoon. My name is Adibi Yetunde Abimbola, a graduate of mass communication from Legal State Polytechnic with IA National Diploma. So um, basically, I have always been a public speaker right from when I was in um, ND to HND. I've always been an administrative aide right from school, right from secondary school. And even at school during my IA National Diploma, I've been heads of so many groups which turned out to be a success after leading them well. So um, my higher national diploma has helped me to gain more communication skills, has helped me to gain more confidence and how to relate to people, how to stand in for people, how to do PR for companies, for brands. And I was also like a campaign manager during school for one of, our, one of my classmates who was running for an election. And I was able to represent him well. I was able to campaign for him well. And, and bring him out to the public the way it should be. All right. Thank you, Thank you so much for that brief introduction. Uh, I like the part when you said a uh, PR for grants. And I can tell you that there are so many organizations, corporations, nonprofits, they are looking for experts in grant writing. Uh, so you might be lucky to have an employer of labor that we probably get across to you in the area of uh, Pitching for for grants on their behalf as well. So let's get to the Abuja based uh, Chidin Ma. So Chidin Ma, this is your question. Can you provide a brief overview of your educational background, a major accomplishment uh, during your studies, and your past employers of labor, and any, any relevant extra curricular activity? Can I say that again? Can you provide Okay. A brief overview of your educational background, major accomplishment during your studies, during your past experience with your previous employers, and of course, any relevant extracurricular activity. You have the floor. All right. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Wonsu Chidema Messi. A graduate from the University of Joss, I studied business administration. After my youth service, um, I also enrolled in some certification courses. I did um, certification in entrepreneurship and also um, marketing as well. I also did a postgraduate diploma in education. So, um, with my, with as an administrator, um, what have actually helped me both in the past and, and in, in the current is. I am um, solution oriented. Wherever I find myself, I ensure that I solve problem. That is the first thing I do. Then also, wherever I find myself as an administrator, I ensure that I am properly coordinated in everything I do. As an administrator, you cannot actually rule this out. One, you have to know how to solve problem. 
you also have to know how to be um, coordinated. So um, um, in, in my job um, as a whole, it has actually given me edge because um, first and foremost, um, I actually multitask. Sorry, I multitask. That's one of my, sorry. I, I multitask. Then secondly, I pay attention to details. So any tax I am giving, first and foremost, I ensure that I pay attention to details to understand what is actually requested of me to solve that problem. So um, currently, um, as the national administrator, I actually am um, a state. I actually manage like 24 states, um, coordination, um, taking of calls, um, responding to mails, um, attending to meetings. I also work with the. Um, um, I also work with the um, chief um, uh, technical officers. That's the technical team to resolve customers' challenges. Then I also send feedback to them on a daily basis. I also work um, hand to hand with the CEO, which is the chief um, operating officer of the organization, to ensure that on a daily basis. I check his uh, work schedules, um, we, we attend meetings, and we also relate with the customers one-on-one -on -one to see their challenges, and we ensure we re respond and also give feedback. I like that. That's Thank a you. very detailed one. Thank you so much, Chidin. I like the part where you've been able to establish that you give feedbacks uh, to your management and uh, uh, an employee that does not give a feedback. And then they, I consider that as a big uh, problem because it is this feedback that I call the raw data that the management can use to uh, come up to analyze uh, their SWOT and see if truly they are making progress or not. So I always love the part where an employee can always give feedback of any processes as well. So if you are a job seeker and or an employee out there and you are watching uh, you must know that there are principles to get a job and one of those i'm going to be sharing 10 with you but i'm going to share two with you immediately after each question you must know that uh, crafting a very strong elevator pitch uh, is one thing that you must have so for an employee a job seeker that cannot craft a one minute elevator pitch and then such job seeker is still not ready to get a job you must have your presentation elevator pitch ready at all time you never can tell where you meet the employer of labor and ask a very simple question tell me about yourself you need to do the elevator Pitch. and of course the second one is you must build an, an online a very strong online presence um, to, to to identify or represent your identity as a job seeker your online presence speaks volume uh, of a job seeker if you want an administrative job and you have your online presence that talks about uh, entertainment talks about other irrelevant stuff an employer of labor can uh, quickly dive into your online presence page and see an opposite of what you are looking for. Such employer will definitely not take you as serious as you may think. So if you are there, you must definitely have a very strong corporate online presence as we speak. Let's go back to Yutunde. Yutunde, are you with me? Yutunde, can you hear me? Yetunde, can you hear me? Chidima, can you see Yetunde? No, I can't see her, but I can I can hear yeah. you well. Yetunde, can you? Hear me? Okay. She said she's here. Can you hear me here today? Can you see her? No, I can't see her. Yet today, can you hear me?
Okay, let me go back to you, Chilling Ma. Uh, this is a question that says, a skill question, Chilling Ma. Can you hear me? Okay, she says she needs to rejoin. Okay, I guess the network is kind of fluctuating. Let's see. Yes. Can you are you back yet today? Yes, I am back. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, sir. It is the network. No, I, I'm, I'm aware it's, it's the network. I'm aware. Um, yes, sir. All right. We also lost Chidima. I'm sure she will be back. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Chidima, are you back? This is your question, Yetunde. All right, sir. This is an experience question, and it okay. says, can you share, can you share a key accomplishment or project? I'll take that again. All right, sir. Share a specific example from your previous job where effective communication played a critical role in achieving a positive outcome. Please give a minute. Chidema said, I can't hear you. Chidema, right. can you hear me right now? Chidima, can you hear us? Chidima, can you hear us? Chidima, can you hear me? Your question, yes, Cindy. Yes, I'm listening, sir. Share a specific example from your previous job where effective communication played a critical role in achieving a positive outcome. What did you learn from that experience? I'll take that again. Share a specific example from your previous job where effective communication played a critical role in achieving a positive outcome what did you learn from that experience you have the floor okay so um i'll be referring to my work experience at mr big's local report ikeja i was the cashier on duty that day and we had an issue with a customer, a customer complained of food, of the food taste. So I was able to communicate effectively with such person. I was able to explain why and why the food tastes so to that person. Not that the food was bad, the food was not bad. But I was able to convince the customer that the food was fresh, which was actually fresh. But because the person is not a Nigeria-based person, the person was actually coming from Turkey. So the person felt the food is not fresh enough. So I was able to like communicate with that person, convince her and let her know that how fresh the food is. And when she tasted it, she liked it and even ordered for takeaway. You ordered for takeaway after your effective communication, right? Yes. 
All right. I, I like that part where, you know, food is a very, food is a very critical issue. And uh, it, it has to be critically, effectively discussed as long as it's going into the body system. Chidima, are you back? Okay, welcome back, Chidima. It's nice to have you back. This is your second question. Can you hear me, Chidima? Well. Chidima, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. So, Yetule, can you see Chidima? Chidima, can you see yes. Yetule? Yes, yes. yes I, can, I can see Yetule now. Okay, then. This is your question, Chidima. And this is an experience question. Can you share a key accomplishment from your professional experience that you feel demonstrates your readiness for a role in business administration? I'll say that again, Chidima. Can you share a key accomplishment from your professional experience that you feel demonstrates your readiness for a role in business administration. You have the floor. All right, it's another uh, network jam. Uh, it's it's a big concern, and I do understand uh, what we do have back home in Nigeria. So if you can find a way to uh, join, uh, let's see if we can have you again. I do understand how... And of course, it's still, still pitch yourself the battle of the job seekers with Abimbola at Dewale. Uh, of course, I think we have Chidima. Chidima, can you hear me? The network chat, I can hear you now. The network is really bad. It's okay. It's okay. I do understand. And I'm sure that uh, subsequent, we should be able to have uh, a better uh, technology that we can accommodate people uninterruptedly for two three four hours as we speak but i do understand and i'm also a proud nigerian i know exactly mm. what's going on and so your question again if i quickly have to say that it says can you share a key accomplishment from your professional experience that you feel demonstrates your readiness for a role in business administration did you get that or you want me to repeat it Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I got it. Please go All ahead. right. Thank you so much for that question. Okay, let me just uh, give the, my recent um, job experience and my accomplishments. So from my CV, I actually uh, stated that I am the C CAO, that's the Chief Admin Officer for eNetworks Technologies Limited. So what I actually do is I manage the affairs for um, for. 24 states that's what i do and basically the experience i have is actually in the fintech in the fintech world from my past experience and my current experience so i actually multitask so what i do i do administrative work and i also um um i'm also saddled with responsibility to interface with the customers in the field so as an administrator what i do on a daily basis I respond to mails, 
I also receive calls, like I said. I also interface with the COO on a daily basis. Okay, then um, I also work with the, the uh, technical team as, as the C COO. So when I actually started with them, um, their customer base was like um, less than 500 across the state. So when I started managing the customers, as I speak to you currently, their customer base is 8,000. 8,000 with verifiable figure. So I, I interface with um, 8,000 agents. I respond to their mails, their calls, and also when they have any challenges, they send their challenges to me. Then I interface with the technical team. The moment the technical team resolve it, I respond back and, and send the feedback to the customer. And of course, it is not really easy managing administrative work, which you have to do on a daily basis, and also have to interface with this customer. All right, and the customers are really satisfied. If you see their report on a daily basis, you need to actually be able to be patient, to listen to them, get their detail. That's you pay attention to details before you can be able to figure out what their problem is and you resolve it. So the customer base for the company is actually growing on a daily basis or because the feedback from the customers actually shows that they are really satisfied with the services I am rendering as both their administrator and also um, the customer care representative. So the, the, the agent base is increasing on a daily basis. So that is just the current um, feedback from the customers. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I actually feel like uh, you, you you are ready because uh, the present day uh, job seeking strategy is is data, and every employer of labor uh, don't mess around with data management, uh, data acquisition, and if you are in a business of managing data, increasing a customer base. I sincerely, you definitely cannot get it wrong. Uh, the future of job hunting is to have experience in data management. And I, I can tell you uh, for free that uh, your experience in a uh, customer base acquisition is, is one thing to, to be proud of. A uh, good job uh, for giving me that uh, illustration as well. Here today, are you ready? Here today, can you hear me? Okay, Yetini says she is here. Okay. Mm, All yes, right, yes, Yetini. This, this is your question, and this is skill question. Your skills will need to come to play. Can you highlight? the key communication skills you are a communicator yeah. you acquired during your higher national diploma program how you can apply it practically with an employer of labor i'll take that again you have hnd in mass communication you are a certified communicator and the question says, can you highlight key communication skills you acquired in your higher national diploma program and how you intend to use it with an employer of labor? Talk to me. Can you take the question again? Yes. I said, can you highlight key communication skills you acquired during your higher national diploma in communication and how you intend to use that skill for any employer of labor if employed? Okay, um, um, there are actually a lot of communication skills acquired and some of which are how to relate with customers, how to how to make them buy whatever you are selling to them, either goods or services. So um, with these skills, I I will be able to stand in for companies, represent them, build their brand name, 
games and make them make customers see, see reasons why they should patronize that company make them see reasons why that brand is so important and why they need it so with that communication skills i'll be able to to convince them to get a particular product or to um to um apply for a particular service conveniently without no doubt fantastic i like that's very precise and i'm taking that same question to chidima chidima are you ready yes i'm ready okay then what specific skills do you believe you have developed during your business administration studies that make you well suited for this for any position i'll take that again what communication skills do you believe you have developed so far from the years of acquiring education to the experience to the level of working with your previous employers and how is it are you well suited for any upcoming role as well using your communication skills can you highlight please okay um some of the skills i have i can say written skills um good oral and communication skills but for me i know what is outstanding for me is um solution oriented skills every business needs to solve a problem so i am when i was talking initially i said one of the skills i have is um, solution oriented challenges must come in business no matter how you plan so one of the skills i have is solution oriented and it has actually helped me in my team in my job presently and in the past the moment i'm facing faced with any challenge from the customers, even in my administrative job, I must find a way to solve that problem. So that aside other skills I have that have to do with and oral communication skills and all of that, one skill that is outstanding for me is solution-oriented skill. Thank you. Solution oriented skills that's that's a very deep one uh, i like the part when you said all businesses uh, must be able to solve a problem and that's the essence of a business a business is invented to solve a particular problem and when a business can solve a particular problem then that means practically that there will be customers there will be clients because such businesses are giving solution to people's problem it's called individual individuality approach and uh, you can't get it wrong as a as an entrepreneur or an employer of labor so i like that part when you said solution oriented skills is one skills that we must have i agree with you on that okay then i think the network also disappeared on cheating man we are almost getting there and this question is for you today you today can you hear me yes i can sir okay yes this is a question management ability question okay management ability question in a team setting how do you ensure effective communication among team members, especially when working on a project with tight deadlines? I'll say that again. Can you hear me? All right, Chidima is back. Can you see you today, Chidima? I can't see her. I can't yes. see you today. Yeah. At the moment, you the network failed, and she also had a technical problem as well. So I'm sure she's trying to log in as well. And I was asking her management ability question, but in case she can't get in quickly, 
uh, to manage our time i need let me switch it over to you while she's trying to get into the platform but and this is a management ability question and it says in your opinion what are the essential qualities a successful manager should possess how have you demonstrated these qualities in your previous experiences i'll say that again in, in your opinion what are the essential qualities a successful manager should possess how have you demonstrated these qualities in your previous engagement please talk to me all right thank you okay so as as a manager one of the qualities the manager should possess is the um, ability to as an ability to work with a team then also you must know how to motivate your subordinates then you must also know how to collaborate with whoever you are working with um, because um, when you work as a team you achieve more thank you all right when you work as a team you achieve more all right uh Yetune, are you there? Yes, I am, sir. Okay. This is your question, Yetune, and it's management ability. I was uh, asking, I said, in your team setting, how do you ensure effective communication among team members, especially when working on a project with tight deadlines? Um, all right. Um, one, one of the most important things while working with the team is communication. The way at you to communicate with your team members will determine how fast and how positive the aim of that um, work is going to be. As as a team leader or as, as as a team leader, you have to be innovative, you have to be positive. You have to be positive that okay, fine, this project is going to be carried out within this period of time and you believe in your team that you can do it. Once you believe in yourself as a team leader that you can do it, then you don't, you don't have problems with your members because once they see the positivity in you, they see the optimistic um, value in you, then they will be ready and willing to work together with you to achieve that aim immediately and as fast as possible. Thank you so much. We all believe that uh, no one is definitely perfect. Uh, we have strengths and weaknesses in life. And uh, that takes me to my uh, question to you, Chidinma. Uh, what are, are those weaknesses that you feel you need to work on as a manager talk to me okay um, all right weaknesses <laughs> okay maybe um for me i you know that uh, due to my work experience i've actually developed myself and i've, I've actually worked on myself but uh, probably i need to maybe uh, communicate better know how to communicate better for me that is what i can say but um in a large scale i've actually worked on myself so much and i'm still improving i'm, I'm actually right. a work in progress oh, all right i i also want to share that thought that uh, we are all as, as long as we are men we are we are all work in progress as long as regardless of our position in life regardless of your status gender we are all working through it so communication skills can never go for over emphasized it has to be discussed better you know and see how we can definitely be a better communicator in future as well so here today that same question goes to you can you elaborate on your weaknesses and how you intend to make it better okay um actually the only weakness i think i have is giving up easily then giving eventually I'll, easy. eventually i will be able to do that without the team members because i have encountered different experiences with especially when i was a group leader in school when i was general secretary of my faculty like people will not actually want to make you they will actually feel you can't do it they'll make you feel you can't do it because of the way they react to that but at the end i see myself doing it all alone and at the end of the day, all of us take the glory, but then I'm not doing the work alone. 
So um, at the point I'll be like, oh, can I do this? But then at the end of at the end of this, I'll be able to do it. But my that spirit is not like the way it's been. So when you have a supportive team member that push you, even that um never giving us spirit to be, you can just build more and never giving us spirit. So at the end, I do my thing my way, and and it's it's always perfect. But before I get there, like at at some point, I'm always weak, like, can I do this? Then later, I just take it up and I will do it on my own, and things will be perfect. All right. So never say never, never give up spirit. I like that. And uh, this is a this is a, this is a junction where I will give you the opportunity opportunity to talk to employers of labor out there and this question is very specific uh, i need you to tell us the job you are looking for i need you to tell us the location of the job you are speaking for i need you to tell, tell us how much in terms of salary you are seeking for from employer of labor we also need you to tell us the kind of employer, the kind of industry sectors you intend to work. You have three minutes to talk about this. Chidema, you have the floor. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, so, um, uh, the kind of job I'm actually looking for um, can actually be like um, um, admin officer, chief admin officer, or um, maybe a customer care um, executive. Um, then um, I actually need a company with a, a standard structure. And when I mean a standard structure, a, 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 a standard working structure, that's the kind of company I need. Uh, I'm actually flexible. I can work remotely. I can work um, in Nigeria and also across the border. Any of it is okay for me. Then for the salary structure, um, um, it can be negotiable, but I can I would just say maybe 1.2 million if it's within Nigeria, but it's negotiable, like I said. Um, thank you. I think that's that's all for now. Thank you. Okay, I, I, I like the part of the salary, 1.2 million monthly, right? Yes. Fantastic. And I, I also share the thought that a good employee deserves good wages. So I'm, I'm in line with that as well. And nothing, no employer of labor can pay the worth of an employee. You know, no employer of labor. So 1.2 million is a good direction. Neg and, uh, negotiable. Can you, it can be nego negotiable. It, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it, it's fine. It's fine. And please, what I would say is do not... Uh, do not undermine uh, your potentials, you know. If you know that you have those skills, the art skills and the soft skills, uh, to make an employer of labor and establishment better, then you should also be proud enough to ask for a salary that will also make you a bit happy. You know, I have no question about that. I have no employee should have a regret about what they intend to take home from an employer of labor. But let me ask you this question. Do you have companies in mind that, that you want to there? mention? Because we might also tag these companies as well. Do you have few names that you, you intend, you dreamt of working with? If you can mention a few. Currently, I don't have any specific company, but uh, maybe my first option would be a FinTech company. A fintech, any company that is into financial services. Okay, that would be a good bet for you. And uh, you also said that anywhere in the country, that means you can go to your state, you can go to Carpenter, you can go to uh, Lagos, you can go to Ogun State, you can go to Enugu, and you can also move out of the country. Correct? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, okay then. Thank you so much. I'll get back to you. Uh, yes, are you there? Yes, yes, sir. The same question goes to you. Can you tell us the job you are seeking for, the position, the location, the salary, and 
if you have names of companies that you desire to work with, please talk to us. All right. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, I would like to work in a company located in Lagos State precisely. And a company that needs a PR personnel, a company that needs a um, client representative, a customer service representative, a company that needs a public speaker or thereabouts, a company that needs a broadcast, a broadcast personnel, a presenter, a show host, and the likes. And the salary should be about a hundred thousand negotiable though, depending on the location. But Lagos State precisely. All right, can you see the variance? 1.2 million, 100,000. You see what I'm talking about? So it's it's about perception, you know. And if you feel that you are worth more than a million, you need to say it. If you feel that you are worth more than 2 million, you need to say it. It's all about uh, perception, it's about you. Uh, and if the employer of labor truly sees that you have that quality, uh, sincerely, a good employer can identify a good job seeker and turn it down. And of course, uh, we definitely, this is what we're going to do. I will also do a pitch for Chidinma. I also do pitch for job seekers. I will create a pitch for you. I will also create a pitch for you today as well and put that pitch online and see if I can market your resume and your skills to employ of labor across board as we have desired. And then I, I will also do that as well for you to be seeking a broadcasting job, a PR job, or a TV or radio host job, and you are seeking for 100,000, uh, why Chidima is seeking for 1.2 million monthly, and she's seeking for chief admin officer's position, and customer care executive, regardless of the location, she's ready to move around as we speak. Remote as well can also be considered if you're an employer of labor. Having said that, we will definitely put these materials on all platforms as it is now. It's going live, so you can watch after the platform. Then by Friday, depending on the numbers of votes that we do have uh, by friday we we'll also be giving out the minimum wage uh, i guess if i'm right the minimum wage as you speak is thirty three thousand. correct yes sir. correct okay so we'll definitely be giving out thirty three thousand to either uh, chidinma or year today depending on the number of people that would definitely say i think yesterday deserve that i also think chidima deserve that so by friday uh, fate will collect that information and we're able to send uh, that uh, minimum wage it's one of uh, to you just to appreciate you then also give you support in job hunting what that means is that for your data for your transportation for all your uh, technical approach to job hunting a minimum which should be able to 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 take you you know to take you like a mile you know it might not solve all the problem but definitely is a support from the job too and uh, when you do have a job we also expect that you come back and also share that testimony as well. I can guarantee you that the job will definitely come as long as you don't keep quiet, as long as you keep working on your soft skills and hard skills as well. It's going to be a bit difficult as we speak moving into 2024 uh, because the jobs are disappearing, employers are not uh, getting the right form to establish more businesses as well. So it's going to shrink a bit. It's only take a proactive job seeker uh, to get a job in this generation as we speak. So uh, don't be discouraged. I want to say a very big thank you to Chidima. On the show today, we've been able to have a battle of the job seekers, and we do have Umu Suchidima Messi, Abuja-based uh, job seeker and employee as well. Uh, she shared her thoughts with us, and she is able to tell us that she has more than eight years experience as an administrative manager seeking for a chief administrative officer's job or a customer care executive job so if an employer of labor you are looking for a result of oriented customer care 
expert or you are looking for chief admin officer as an expert, then Chidima might be the right uh, candidate for you to consider. Our skills are very, very interesting skills. These are powerful skills, in my opinion, administrative reporting skills, excellent oral rating communication skills, multitasking, Excel spreadsheet, a graphic design ability to negotiate. Those are the skills, and I, I tell you, as an employer of labor, those skills are not uh, easy to come by. So if you see an employee or a job seeker with such skills, clap it quickly. And further, I will go to Yutunde. Yutunde here says she has an HND in uh, journalism, HND in mass communication, and she's based in Lagos. She's also seeking for a PR job anywhere in Lagos, a broadcasting or a show host in Lagos as well. So if you are there, our salary, our intending salary is 100000 for any employer of labor that wants to take on board a year to day to work with them. And her skills here says she had administrative skills, managerial skills, public speaking, communication skills, marketing skills, and public relations skills as well. These are good soft skills for any employer of labor that wants to get the right personnel for their business. That's all I can take on the show. It's Abimbola Adewole. Pitch yourself, battle of the job seekers. And I want to say a big thank you to you, Chidinma, and uh, Yetunde for making it a day to be on the show. I hope to be in Nigeria soon, uh, where we can have, um, I can host all my candidates and see how we can change the face of job hunting in the country. I'll see you guys. I'll be talking to you on Friday. And good luck to anyone that definitely have access to the minimum wage by Friday. It will be announced on Friday. Keep sharing it. Keep telling your family and friends to keep talk about your interview on the Pitch Yourself platform. Any last thing you want to say, Chidinma? I just want to appreciate uh, the job show for uh, giving us this amazing platform. Um, I really appreciate and I will actually do well to share this, um, like you said, to friends and family. Then maybe I am, if I may ask, maybe what is the job show um, doing to get this to every unemployed youth? Because we have a lot of unemployed youth. A lot of um, graduates don't actually have this platform to market themselves. Okay, so, why talking, you go freeze. Can you? recap that again okay so, so all right i said i i want to appreciate the job show for giving me this amazing platform the job show uh they're actually doing well and i will actually go extra mile to ensure that um family and friends get to know about the job show then i said finally i want to ask um, the job show what they are putting in place to ensure that all unemployed graduates get to know about this platform because this is actually a very good platform to market yourself in the marketplace. That's, that's a very laudable. Thank you so much for that question. And uh, let me get the nail on the head by what we are putting in place to make sure that the concept of pitch yourself, the job show by the job show, uh, gets to every job seekers out there in Nigeria, West Africa, Africa, and the whole world. Uh, we are very open to suggestions. We are open to a partnership. And uh, what we are doing right now is to see if we can get uh, partners with HR, recruiters, employers of labor, and market this uh, platform to them and see where job seekers can uh, easily you know, decide to come on the platform and pitch their ideas, their skills and resume to the employers of labor. We are taking it a step at a time. We'll definitely be reaching out by SMS, we'll be reaching out by a social media campaign uh, to tell job seekers, get on board, come on the board, come and pitch yourself, tell yourself employers of labor 